So I've been using Mixmax for eight years in my business, primarily for my cold email marketing and also to track um, email opens. And I was looking at my billing history and it turns out I spent over $2,000. Now I never thought I would find a solid replacement until I found a goal email tracker on AppSumo for $19. Now, keep in mind that this doesn't have all of the features of Mixmax, but it does have everything I'm looking for right now. So that's really to track email opens, um, to save email uh, templates, and also to generate email signatures. Now, keep in mind that this code is only for a one email address. Now I have three emails, so I did purchase three codes. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a quick review and demo of Go Email Tracker. By the way, if you're looking for quality, highly vetted tools that I personally recommend, you'll want free access to my uh, must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs, Notion spreadsheet. Um, I remove tools here. I add new tools that I find on a frequent basis. So if you want free access to this Notion doc, um, click the link down in the description below. Now, Go Email Tracker is a browser add-on um, that is available for Chrome and also Edge. They also have an Android and iOS app as well. Now, when you install the Chrome extension, what's cool is that they display labels here according to the email domain. So you could very quickly scan and see what businesses are emailing you at a glance. So I thought that was a pretty uh, neat feature I didn't know this tool would have. Now on the top right hand side, you could view your activity. So how many emails were sent, opened, clicked, and also not opened. And the second button here just tells you that um, it's activated and I am on the premium plan. They also have a few videos that you could watch as well to learn how to use the tool. Now, when you compose an email, you could see these two new icons here. So this first one toggles on all of the features. They have an AI email writer, a signature that you want to apply to this email. Also paste a template you've saved or create an email template. And then this second icon will allow you to turn on or off the ability to track opens, track clicks, and also automatically insert your signature. Now let's try this AI email uh, writer. You could paste a previous email here and then the tool will automatically generate an email reply. And then this is basically the prompt. So briefly enter what do you want to email and you could see a variety of example prompts here as well. I'm going to use uh, this one here just to show you how this tool works. So write an email about payment reminder. I'm going to click on generate and here we go. So it gave us the subject and the body of the email. You can edit the text however you want to, including add images, video, and it looks like adding audio, which is pretty interesting. So let's just say I want to make this uh, bold and I want to add an image as well. So we can find an image from our computer or uh, copy and paste an image URL. So I'm just gonna copy the URL for this image and then paste it over here and click on submit. Okay, so we have this image from the AppSumo uh, deal page. Now I'm gonna edit, it, edit this and add my name at the bottom of the email, then click on use generated email. You could also um, generate the email again if you don't like this text or even save this email as a template. So I'm gonna use generated email. Okay, so this is my email that was generated uh, using AI. Now regarding the uh, email signature, I'm gonna click on choose a signature and they have three templates to choose from. Now I think there is a lot of room for improvement here because I wish there were a lot more uh, styles. So these templates will update according to the details that you provide right over here. Okay, so aside from the personal details, you can add your company details, um, graphics. So I added a link to my uh, profile picture. If there are, is any disclaimer text you want to add, you can do so right here. And there are uh, various social media links you can add. 
Now, one thing I'm noticing is that they are using the old uh, Twitter here, the old Twitter logo. So they do need to update this and replace Twitter with X. And for style, it looks like um, some styles are coming soon. Now, again, I really wish they had more variety of signature templates to choose from. There are only three. I personally like this short one. So I'm gonna click on use the signature and it automatically gets added to the bottom right over here. Okay, so I think my email is good. So the subject line is here. I added the recipient. So I'm gonna click on send. Now, if I click on this notification icon, you could see under sent the email that I just sent. So this is a nice window where you could view all of your activity. Now I am in the sent email. So this is the email that I uh, sent. So right here, you could see that the first and last email tracked, but not opened or clicked, which is why this second check is still uh, grayed out. And on the uh, right hand side, you could view the activity status. Okay, so one email tracked in this conversation. This email was sent a minute ago from my location. So it's tracked, but it hasn't been opened or clicked. So now I'm gonna go to my other email and open it. Okay, so I just opened um, the email. And so this is how the email looks like, just exactly the same as how I uh, sent it. And keep in mind that there is no branding in these emails as well, which is very important. I don't want anyone knowing that I'm using Go Email Tracker to track um, these emails. So on the right hand side, you could see under opens, it was opened a few seconds ago. It gives you the date and the time. And right here, you could see now these two checks are blued out. And we could see this bell icon is moving as well, which means there is an update. So you can click on it. And under open, you could see this was opened um, just a few moments ago. And then under send, you could see that same email. Um, if there are any emails that were clicked, it'll be under clicked. Any emails that were not opened will be under the not opened uh, tab right over here. So as you can see, it's so easy to use. So I highly recommend this tool. It's 19 dollars it does what it's supposed to do now one thing i wish um could be improved was again the email signature options and also the overall ui personally i think this doesn't look all too great for example the ai email writer i think this could look much better and when you choose your email templates i think this looks kind of ugly so i think if they could improve the overall uh, ui to make it look more modern and appealing. I think that would just make it more fun, more easy for me to use. But overall, it does exactly what it's supposed to do.